Hey guys, it's Kara. Um, I filmed three episodes at one time. I usually try to record my audio as I'm filming, um, or as I'm playing the game and recording the screen. Just so it's like exactly how I feel at the moment. I don't really like to record afterwards. But I was getting ready to leave the country. And my house was kind of loud, we had company over, and we had a couple, you know, we had a birthday right before I left. So, there was a lot of people at the house, and I was just kind of in my room. And I didn't really want to record and have to worry about background noise, because people were coming to my door a few times, and I recorded three episodes. I skipped one, just because all I did was battle trainers, and a few Pokemon evolved, like I do have like Charizard now. And I originally was going to add it in before this one, and that's why in the beginning I didn't show you what Pokemon evolved or how strong they were like I usually do. And I was going to show that, that video because I was kind of like, well, even though it is grinding, I'm still going against trainers I haven't fought before, and I went against the other Snorlax where like all the bridges were. And then I thought, well, that, that was like 45 minutes because... If you watch my other videos, you know I don't like to just cut things off midpoint. I like to do section by section. And I, that does make the videos a little longer, but with like the way this game's set up, you just kind of do stuff. Like, now we're in Cinnabar Island. And we're going to go again in the Pokemon Mansion. Which is really cool, and if you go around, there's these journals that talk about Mew. But I don't do as much exploration, just because it takes a lot longer. And I try not to make these videos terribly long, and sometimes I do. But if there was, like, cutscenes and stuff, it'd be so much easier to find a stopping point and make the video shorter. But there isn't, and so I try to do, like, section by section. And I've been trying not to make them too lengthy, even though most of my videos are, like, 30 45 minutes but then I have like an 11 minute video then I have like an hour so it just kind of depends and I just figured well I can skip it if anybody really wants it I still have the footage and I could post it but that was explaining why I did things the way I did well here I'm moving Pokemon around so you can kind of see that wasn't intentional I'm sorry about that and I'm sorry I hadn't posted in a while. Like I said, I was out of the country. Had a lot of fun. And it feels weird going back and recording the audio over this clip because it's technically been about two and a half weeks since I've recorded this. So I kind of remember what I did, but at the same time I didn't. And like I said, there were just so many people at my house during the time I recorded it because I recorded those three episodes and then I didn't worry about it for a while. Just because I was in the mood to play, and now school started back, and I knew I was going to be a little busy, and I figured it'd be nice to have a couple of videos ahead, even though I'm going to still try to produce them um, quickly, even though I know there's hardly any subscribers at the moment. If anybody ever wants to come back maybe later, or even if there's never really like a lot of people. It's so cool. I'm still having fun. And I really do like this mansion. If you're playing the game, I recommend searching everything. Like, I've played these games so much, I kind of almost memorize exactly what you're supposed to do. And I mean, I could have done more research. Or more searching. Like, getting all the journals and stuff. But I was kind of like, well, I'm going to speed it up like I mentioned earlier. But if you play this game yourself, it's really cool if you read all the journal entries and stuff. And it kind of goes with the first Pokemon movie. And if you haven't seen that, I recommend going on like Amazon or something and either renting it through Amazon Video or buying it. It's definitely worth a buy. I grew up with that movie when I was a kid. I loved it. It's actually probably like my second favorite Pokemon movie because my first one's actually Pokemon Heroes. Yeah. And I hope you have a good time watching this video. And, like, what's really cool is this is actually a good place to train at this point of the game. And the switches that you saw me do earlier, as you can tell, they changed the way the doors are. 
and you have to really pay attention with that. And that's one reason I like the Pokemon Mansion, because it's like a puzzle and a good place to train. And they have like all the little stuff, like here's a journal entry that was on the table that I didn't collect. And I know I'm going through and not really battling people, but it's okay. It's still a new area, it's still fun. And there's another place where you can actually get Grimer in Zeldon City, where you see the little patch of water in the guy next to the game corner, where the um, rocket hideout was at. If you swim around there, there's like mucks and Grimers there. But I mean, this is a very convenient spot to get them. I'm so happy that the three starters are already evolved all the way. I really wish in this game that you could evolve Pikachu into Raichu, but they're trying to make it like the anime, and so they're like, no, you can't. I'm just glad they didn't make it so much like the anime that, like, my Bulbasaur had to say a Bulbasaur like Ash. But, it is an RPG, so I guess they figured Pikachu is probably as much as they could do without making people really mad. Because it isn't the show. Because otherwise, you'd have um, Misty and Brock travel around with you, which would be cool. But, I, I'm... Yeah, the only game that lets you have a partner is Pokemon Coliseum, which is a fantastic game. And I, I would love to replay it. I just don't know if I will at this point, because I still actually have my GameCube in the game. It's just... Like, it won't even hook up to my TV because my TV is too new for it. And I think, if, I think you can download it for the Wii, but I'm not sure, but I don't own a Wii. Man, so many eradicates. Oh, and this is a really good area to level up to. And the gym battle after this. Blaine. He is probably the second easiest gym leader in this game. And the only reason he's not the easiest is because you have Pikachu, Misty, is relatively easy. In red and blue, I would consider Blaine the easiest. Because you typically don't like have a Pikachu this early on. I mean, you can get Grass and Bug, but it's a little harder than when you have, like, Thundershot. And it's really crazy to think that, like, I'm really close to getting all the gym battles already. Or gym badges, yeah. And I'm sorry it's a battle. In this game... I kind of like these games because there is a little story, but there's not that much. The newer games do have more story, and it's fine, like, things evolve, but this is just like something for a nice, quick little play. And, I mean, that's one of the appeals of this game. I was thinking about I might do glitches and stuff, but I decided I'm not going to. Maybe with Red and Blue I might do a glitch series eventually. I probably won't. I've done a couple of glitches in my own games. But, while they're cool to watch, I just don't really care to do them. I've done, like, Missing Number. And I did Mew when I was a kid. But, I just, while they're fun, it's just sort of like, I didn't want to have to worry about the game crashing or anything like that since I was recording it. And, I know a lot of people do it. And what's really cool, though, is when you have them digitally downloaded onto your 3DS, you can um, actually still do a lot of those glitches from what I've told. I haven't personally tried them yet, as you can tell. But I still think that's cool that it's pretty much the exact same game except for, you know, a couple of differences. And you can use Pokebank with it. That's pretty neat. I haven't tried it yet. But yeah, um, I'm running out of things to say, so I hope you enjoy this video, and thank you for being patient with me. Have a great day, guys.
Thank <laughs> you.